Welcome to 2K Sports for another edition of NBA Basketball. And along with Greg Anthony, Brent Berry, and David Aldridge, this is Kevin Harlan. And alongside us tonight, we have a very special guest you're going to enjoy. Five-time NBA champion, nine-time all-defensive first-team selection, Laker legend, the terrific Kobe Bryant. Kobe, great to see you. We're so excited to have you. No, thank you. I wouldn't miss a chance to stop by and call a game with you guys. You still watch a lot, don't you? I do. I do. I'm, I'm a big fan. It's the Chicago Bulls taking on the Los Angeles Lakers. Now let's take a look at the Bulls' opening lineup. Pippen is out there with Rodman. Then there's Harper, and it's Michael Jordan, and it's Longley in at the center filling out the middle. That free throw, no good. Kobe, in, in other sports, I mean, people always admired the mind of Peyton Manning playing in the NFL. Tom Brady, the way he thinks the game through. I compare you to that. Did you have that same kind of uh, fascination in other sports with the great players that were similar to you in basketball? Yeah, yeah, we, we used to get together. I, I remember the first time I met Peyton was at an Orlando Magic game. I mean, uh, came in Washington. He would just start getting started. I was asking questions about his process and stuff. He started going to, like, my cover two and such, 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 da, 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 da. And I was like, <laughs> and he went on for, like, a good five minutes. When he was done, I said, Peyton, I don't understand anything you just said. Right? But, but he spoke at a level of detail that was beyond fascinating. You were impressed by that. Yes. Which then leads to more questions. Like, Tom, Tom and I talk often about that stuff, too. And how much we love the game. How much we love the process and the attention to every little detail. It's fun to be around, no matter the industry. Yeah, it's like he just keeps going up and up. Limitless vertical for MJ. A little over a minute gone here in the first quarter. LeBron kicks to Ingram. Back to LeBron. Six to shoot. Pass to Kuzma. From deep, gets the three-pointer to fall. Kuzma's got his first bucket of the game, and he's on the board for three. Jordan against Ingram. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. And the defining trait of the greatest of superstars, Jordan makes the players around him better. Mentally, in terms of effort, and in terms of their performance. And so Jordan nails both of them. Here's Ball. To the middle. Now Ingram. Good work defensively by Rodman. The shot comes out. It's all tied here in Los Angeles. And we'll be back shortly for the start of the second quarter. And it's been a pretty even game here after one quarter of play. And taking a look at the Lakers' performance here, what have they been doing or not doing in the game? You know, I like the confidence that they've shown here early on. Yeah, I think they've controlled the momentum, and that is showing up. And now, brought to you by Gatorade, all fueled up and ready to go. Let's reset our lineups. So, the Bulls five right now. They've got Harper. Rodman is out there with Longley. Then there's Pippen. And it's Jordan in at the two-guard position. This is his second trip to the free-throw line. That one misses. And here's Chandler, who brings it up for the Lakers. They trail by one. Pass to Longley. And it's good assisting on the play was Jordan. Boy, have they gotten hot here in the second quarter. No wonder they're in front. Stevenson passes the ball. Here's James. Played in with a nice touch off the glass. James has got his first points of the night. Uh, defensively, that's what you're trying to prevent. And LeBron James is too good. I'd like to give a big thank you once again to Kobe Bryant for coming by and uh, and feel free anytime to drop by and join our broadcast. Oh, thank you, man. It's been uh, it's been wonderful. Thank you for having me. 
And Brent, we know just how competitive Kobe was as a player, and it's always nice to hear a more reflective side of him when he joins us here in the booth. Funny the things that you notice, Kevin, when you're in the booth here versus the role that you play as a player, especially for a guy who lives and breathes basketball like Kobe Bryant. Defense has to feel fortunate. Somehow he missed that opportunity, and still there's no reason for them to give up that kind of open shot. And some nice ball movement here by Chicago. And it's Jordan with the jam. Guys back and forth this first half. And this could continue to go back and forth the entire way. Second quarter of action, about a minute and a half played. Stevenson finds James. Back to Stevenson. Inside. And the dunk by James. LeBron not messing around. That time in the paint, close to the rim, smelling blood. A nice shot by Jordan. Guys, that's just really unstoppable. He poses a ton of matchup problems for whomever he's facing. Here's James, and the Lakers check on two more. I like that recognition. Effortlessly getting his teammate the ball in a spot where he knows he can do something with it. And a close game so far through the first two quarters as we reach halftime. Lakers ahead, leading by just one. Time now for the halftime break, with the third quarter soon to follow. Right. The 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hi again, everyone. I'm a competitive matchup for the Lakers in the first quarter. They were unable to ever build a big lead in the first period, with three points being their largest cushion. The second quarter was a tight battle, but they were the slightly better team. Not by very much, however. And let's get your thoughts, Kenny, on the Lakers. Well, their shooting accuracy was on point. It was good play calling, of course, by the coaching staff, but it was great execution by the team. And Shaq, what'd you think about Chicago? Their defense has been practically non-existent. Sure, they're facing a team that got hot. You can even say a bit lucky at times, but no one is stepping up on D and taking anything away. Have some pride. Don't let a guy shoot like that in your face. And that's all we have for now. Tell the folks goodbye, Shaq. Tell the folks goodbye, goodbye. Kenny. Goodbye. Go to Kevin Harlan. And if you're just joining us, we've played through the first half in a game that's been fairly even so far. We've seen Michael Jordan really having a great game. Yeah, and through two quarters, he's been lights out. And you know he's going to look to add to those totals. And defensively, hard to force him out of the rhythm at this point because he has a number of ways with which he can beat you. LeBron and Kuzma make up the forwards. Brandon Ingram's out there with Lonzo Ball. And it's McGee in at the pivot spot, manning the middle. And that's the group for Luke Walton as we begin the second half. Well, how about LeBron reading the defense, waiting and being patient there until the gap opened up to deliver. Jordan inside. He's covered by Ingram. Harper kicks to Pippa. The kick out to Harper. Five to shoot. Here's Jordan. And he hits it just before the shot clock expires. Jordan's got four points in the quarter. And not much else you can do. I mean, defensively, you try to make it hard on Jordan without fouling, but he's just too dialed in. Such a wide open look. Kuzma's got the lead up to three now for Los Angeles. And good passing, setting up a lot of these buckets right now, Kevin. That's been the key. Oh, and he went for the two-hander on the slam using some muscle. Some urgency from him there, sure. Second half of basketball, just over a minute played so far. And here is Ball. Let's a floater go. If they play it right, we're talking a two for one. Yeah, this is where it comes down to really good clock management, and you want to maximize each of your possessions. Here's LeBron. Jordan with the rebound. I give the defense a C-plus on that possession, but still, I'm sure he's upset he missed. McGee with the block. Here's Ball. 
Yes, and it's LeBron picking up the assist. LeBron's got his third assist on the night. I, I'm a fan of how Ball uses that side. Got the oh, shot! He just got it! No better feeling to be able to deliver in a moment like that. Yeah. Those stick with you for the rest of your life. Absolutely. Wow, what a miracle he to finish off the quarter. How'd he get that one to go? He's excited. Third quarter comes to a close, and a battle brings it to a tie. And while we can, now let's take a look at today's State Farm assist of the game. And he sliced the D wide open with this feed. They had no chance to prevent that basket. And that's what great passing will do for you right there, dissecting the defense with that play. And it's been a very competitive game so far as we get rolling here in quarter number four. So for Chicago right now, they've got Pippen. Harper is out there with Jordan. Then it's Rodman. And it's Longley in at the five. Home in the paint. And it's Ingram missing. And that was an easy one there. Just a missed opportunity. Now sometimes everything can go right, but the shot doesn't go down. Nothing there is automatic. It's stolen by Rodman. Harper. Fires from 14, and it's Jordan. That time on the assist from Ron Harper. 20 points for Jordan. And, and another momentum shift. These teams going back and forth all night. Yeah, which team's going to find some consistency first? Neither one can pull away. And it's Jordan with the jam. And you know how that play's going to end. Jordan in the air, adjusting effortlessly. And that was an Unleashed Chaos moment indeed. What a spectacular play. Sponsored by Under Armour Hover Hat. Ball kicks to Hart. Trains the three-pointer. And defensively, you've got to make a greater effort working over the screens. Yeah, it's a bit of a lazy play right there. You're hoping that the guy misses the shot without really doing your job and challenging it. And stolen by James. It's stolen by Rodman. Here's Jordan, and plenty of contact on the shot. So, two free throws coming up. And the foul called on Los Angeles. It's slashing there by Jordan. Gets up to speed in a hurry. Just impossible to stay in front of. He drops the first one, and that will put them up by two. Some changes for the Lakers. JaVale McGee comes in for Chandler. And Kyle Kuzma is subbed in for Hart. Los Angeles calls timeout. They're down by three. There's 47 seconds left in the fourth quarter. And now we've got a moment for our Jordan player of the game, Michael Jordan. And he's grabbed this game with both hands and just never let it go. I mean, he scored a huge percentage of their points. He hadn't been the main guy for him. He's been the only guy for them. And on our sideline, our reporter, David Aldridge. Hey, Kevin. Well, Luke Walton was just talking about strategy with his team. Yes, they're behind right now, but he's still upbeat. He said, guys, we can get back in this game. Stay together out there. All-out effort can win this game. Thanks, David. Oh, that is the play of the game. Nothing more rewarding than hitting the big shot for your team. Takes a three. That one misses. So Los Angeles will take it the other way. Seven-second difference, shot in the game clock. James, well, LeBron James lives for the big moment. Another one there. And here are the Bulls now. Left side, Jordan. Shoots over Ingram, and Jordan brings the fade away. And I think hitting that championship winning shot his freshman year of college, Jordan has brought that clutch gene with him. To the pro. Los Angeles calls timeout. They trail by one. 12 seconds left in the fourth quarter of this one. 12 seconds left in the fourth. Got a piece of it. Stolen by Pippen. And an intentional foul right there. Yeah, that's right. No other option but to foul and put this in this. And he cannot get the first one to drop. Tough one to miss. So neither attempt will fall that time for him. Here's James. Yes! I was trying to think of how many times LeBron looks like he's off balance or in a spot he doesn't want to be. Doesn't happen all that often. Two more there. Chicago calls timeout. They're trailing by one. 
just two seconds left to play in the final quarter. What do you think, guys? And guys, it all comes down to this. One shot to win the game. They have just enough time to run a play that'll lead to a catch and shoot here on the inbound. Maybe one quick pass and then get it up. And so the big win by Chicago in a tight game. This win, such a tremendous emotional boost for him. Really an accomplishment and crazy finish <laughs> to take a road game like this and simply deflate an entire building. And that'll do it, folks. For Greg Anthony, Brett Berry, and David Aldridge, this is Kevin Harlan. Thank you for watching the NBA presented by 2K Sports. So long.